Good morning and welcome to Hope for the Family with Evangelist Moy Antonia Eden. God is good all the time. We bless God for keeping us alive to see this beautiful day which He has made. We rejoice and be glad in it. Shouts of victory and rejoicing ahead for the time in the tent of the righteous. We bless God that we are alive, the living have hope. We thank God for His faithfulness. We bless Him for our salvation in Jesus Christ. We thank you for all the things we can do through Jesus Christ who gives us strength. We know God, so we are mighty in his hands to do great works. We do not doubt ourselves. We know God can use us. We surrender everything about us and our families to God today. Let God do what he alone can do in our midst. Glory, hallelujah, amen. We have the living word of God in us. We cannot hide the word. We must proclaim the word wherever we go because we know faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. As we have received the word of God in us, we have tested and seen the goodness of God. Let us be filled with rejoicing as we begin to proclaim God's goodness to the people around us. People need to hear the word of God. People need to be delivered from the bondages that the evil forces of darkness have thrust upon the children of God. Chains need to be broken. People need to receive healing. Amen. We need to cast out demons from those that are demon possessed. Amen. We need to encourage one another and teach one another in the things of God, the things of God. Amen. The only way we can do that is by proclaiming the goodness of God, the wondrous work of God in our midst, studying the word of God. Amen. And really understanding our relationship with God, what God has done for us, the promises of God to us, our nations, and what God expects us to do for him in this world. We cannot represent God if we do not understand who we are in the hands of God. If we do not know what God has done for us and what he has given to us. Amen. The best way for us to find out our purpose here in this world is to draw nearer to God. God will need, draw near to us. Near to us. So we draw nearer to him. We study the word and the spirit of God. We begin to instruct us in righteous living. Amen. God has set a foundation for us to stand on. He has given each of us a measure of faith each to walk it. Amen. Let our faith continue to increase. Of what benefit is our faith to us when there's no good works to show for everything that God has done for us? Amen. Our faith should have good works to impact our nations, our families, the body of Christ. Wherever we go, let people see our good works and begin to glorify our Father who is in heaven. Amen. Everything blazing to our, our lives here on earth will be as God said it would be. Today we surrender to God with blessing because He is our God. We have come with hearts that are filled with thanksgiving to praise God, to glorify Him for what He has done for, for us. We are returning all power to Him, all honor. We are ascribing the praise that is due to His holy name back to Him. He is God alone. There is no other God like Him. In the earth here, in the heavens above, underneath the, the waters, the oceans, there's no other God. He founded this world upon the oceans. Amen. Upon the deep waters. Amen. His voice is mightier than the deep waters of the ocean. Everything God created proclaimed His goodness. Amen. They are all proclaiming His goodness today. Why wouldn't we? We are made in His image and likeness. Tell the world about the God we know. Amen. The God who, who has highly exalted us with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That though we are in this world, we are sitting with Jesus Christ in the heavenly reigns. Amen. Here in flesh and blood, inside of us, we have the Spirit of God. Amen. That Spirit of God helps us to do great, great, great works for God in this world. Let us listen to the voice of wisdom. Amen. So that in all we do, we will be about our father's business as Jesus Christ was about his father's business here on this world in this world when he was here any other thing we do in this world we not count to our eternal uh, reward let me put inheritance in God's kingdom every other thing we do here will be left in this world the only thing that will come for us where we can store up those treasures in heaven is when we walk for God as we serve God in true love we serve humanity. Amen. God expects us to be about his business, to love our brothers and sisters, to be considerate of one another, to show his true love, and to be a of peace wherever, of his peace wherever we go. Glory, hallelujah, amen. We just bless God for his goodness. 
because we know that the anointing of God is upon our lives, that the Spirit of God is upon us, and that Spirit of God will help us to do all that God has called us to do. Our ears are tuned to the voice of wisdom. Our minds are being renewed by the power of the living God. Our hearts are being filled with joy, with thanksgiving, with that humble spirit that will make us to bow down ourselves to our God, so that God will have the first place in our lives. We bless God, we bless Him. Our souls are being revived today. God is still leading us beside still waters, He's still our Father. Wherever we are, our gathering we always be unto God. We welcome the Holy Spirit in our midst, even right now. We surrender to the will of God. We are not self-righteous. We are all sinners and fall short of the glory of God. Today we acknowledge our sins before our God, to whom we are gathered. Father Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus Christ. We ask for forgiveness. We know we have sinned and fallen short of your glory. We know that we are not always loved. We have had bitterness in us, hatred, slanderous spirits. We have used our mouth to tear down people instead of encouraging them. We have said things that are not kind, good about people. Father Lord, we ask for forgiveness, renew our minds, strengthen us from within. Let us be the children you created us to be. Let your peace dwell in us and amongst us in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you, God, because you are our Father, the God of all mercy, the God of all compassion. You have not condemned us, Jehovah God. No one can condemn us. We are not here to please men, but to please you the things you do. Our eyes are seeking you this day in the name of Jesus Christ as we bless you. For our families, for what you have done in our midst. We thank you, our God. We see the praise, we see the honor in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for Jesus Christ interceding on our behalf this day. Thank you that we have eternal rest. We will die and leave this world, that we will rest, O Lord God, in your kingdom. That death will not hold us captive, that the power of the grave cannot hold us. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, we overcome in that name that you are giving to us. We are lifting up our banners today. We are glorifying you as we are marching onto the horns of the altar within our families, our homes. We are rejoicing for the victory you have given us to us in Jesus Christ. We are thanking you, God. There is none like you. You are God alone. As you have forgiven us, Jehovah God, we forgive all that have sinned against us. Thank you, Jehovah God. Thank you for helping us to forgive. Thank you for your abundant grace, abundant grace that gives us strength, the strength to turn back against ungodly living. Father, we bless you. All good and perfect gifts come from you. You are the God of the heavenly lights. You know there is no variation, neither shadow of turning. Thank you for the good and perfect children you have given to us. We commit their lives unto your hands, God. We rededicate them to you. Preserve their souls, O Lord God. Separate them from everything evil in our communities, in our families, all gathered against them. Let them be brought down. Let shame return upon the tent of the evil that have evil. People that have tried, Father Lord, to come against us and our families. Every evil altar erected against us in our families, Jehovah God, those altars must come down by your mighty power. They cannot stand. You are God. We bless for the spirit of prosperity upon us and our families and nations. We thank you, Jehovah God, that those who have placed in position of leadership over us are seeking your face in the things they do. We pray, Lord God, that our government will not violate your laws, your word, and the ordinances and precepts you have laid down for the nations. By them we are warned by keeping of them there's great reward for us and our people. Father Lord, we bless you today. That as it relates to marriage institution that you made it to be created to be a union between a man and a woman. That's the way we reproduce, that's the way we conquer, replenish and dominate this earth. Father Lord, we come against every attack on the marriage institution. We bless you, Jehovah God, that we have married mates to female. That as we have received the tradition from you, we have passed it all on to our children. Father, we bless you, God, that all, Father Lord, in our government, supporting things that are contrary to your will, all trying to violate spiritual principles you have laid down for us. We go back to review the things they have done 
and they will overturn them all in Jesus' mighty name. Jehovah God, we come against every spirit of deception. We come against every shame, every reproach. Oh, Father Lord, we are praying today that your children within government will lift up the banner of Jesus Christ, that they will not be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ because your power that gives salvation to men. For those that are foolish, uh, uh, perishing, it is foolishness unto them. Father, arise unto us, anoint the mouths of your children to speak as your oracles, and enlighten their eyes to see clearly. May they not compromise with the world. May they stand on the rightful position, in the rightful position between the body of, uh, between the government and the body of Christ to do great works for you. Father, we bless you in the name of Jesus. Our Lord God Almighty, as it relates to our children, you created them to be male, you created them to be female, and that's the way they will be, and that's the way they will accept themselves. They are blessed by the names you have called them. Jehovah God, we come against every spirit of confusion, everything ministering to their soul, minds, and body, and make and spirit, making them to reject their own selves. We come against that evil voice in the air. We come against every altar, everything that's coming out from science in the name of Jesus Christ, from philosophy, from men that have their whose hearts are hardened against you. We pull down every stronghold by your mighty power in Jesus' mighty name. We deliver our children. We flush out every seed of defilement from them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, touch them from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet. You are the glory and the lift up of their heads. Help them, Jehovah God. A compass around them with your holy presence today. Protect them from evil. From those, Father Lord, trying to penetrate into our systems, which are the schools, universities, and colleges. Wherever our children are gathered, those that are bringing drugs, alcohol, pornography, using our children, Father Lord, in child labor and sex trade, those enticing children to turn against their parents and communities to run away from their homes. Father, lift up your standard against them. Let them be brought down by your mighty power. Let them be cleansed out from our system in the name of Jesus Christ. Let no evil hide anywhere in Jesus' mighty name. Yet let your light penetrate, Jehovah God. Protect our children in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you. Our children are good. They are perfect gifts. They are unique in their own ways. Wonderful and fearfully created by you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, our children, Father Lord, have been flooded. You have flooded them with the spirit of knowledge, understanding, wisdom, and intelligence. You have elected their eyes to see clearly, their ears to hear. The word that is coming out from your children that know you. Amen. The word of wisdom in the name of Jesus Christ. Our children be attentive, O Lord God, to instructions from their parents and responsible adults in their lives in Jesus' mighty name. Jehovah God, we bless you. Because we know, Father Lord, that our children will ascend to the position of leadership in our nations. They will become president of nations, so Lord God, senators and congressmen. They will be governors of states, mayors of towns and cities, councilmen and women in the name of Jesus Christ. They will add every department within government. In the name of Jesus Christ, they will walk for all in every good profession on earth. Jehovah God, they will take over Wall Street in the name of Jesus Christ and every, they will overturn the spirit of corruption, Father Lord, in the nations. Jehovah God, we bless you. Ora has sent that a hobo shenda. Rebebe sent that a bahaba sent that a hobo shenda a bahaba sent Who can stand against the knowledge of God? Who can stand against the will of God in the lives of our children? Jehovah God, you are restored back to our children everything that belongs to them. We bless you, God. Rebe hebe sent that a hobo shenda a bahaba. That they will marry me to female, live in their own homes, have their own children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for holding back every plan of the wicked, overturning every cause and delivering our children from every evil hour. We bless you, Jehovah God, that they will not die prematurely, that within the body of Christ there are pillars, strong pillars, doing great works for you. We may be sent out of a hobo shender. They are apostles, they are prophets, they are pastors, they are evangelists, they are teachers of the world. They are ministers and elders in our midst in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They are standing in their rightful position and doing great works for you. They are bringing souls into the kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. They are not distracted, Father Lord, by the negative voices in the world. They know their purpose, Lord God, why you created them. In the name of Jesus Christ, they will excel in every good work. In the name of Jesus Christ, wherever their names are being, Father Lord, used for evil purposes. Wherever people, Father Lord, are raising up incantations against them, conjuring spirits against them. They are returning back to the heads of sinners. Our children will trample upon them, Jehovah God. You have taken the rod of the oppression that the enemy has tried to lay on the land of the righteous. That you have placed them in our hands and the hands of our children. We are going after those that came against us. We are bringing them by your mighty power. Father, you have broken the snare. 
as souls have escaped out of the fallen state. Like birds, we are flying this day. In freedom, the freedom you are giving to us, we are enjoying your goodness in the land of the living. We prosper in good works, prosperity in our ministry, in our lives, good health in the mighty name of Jesus, prosperity of our souls in Jesus' mighty name. Children inheritance from you, the blessing of the womb is a reward from you. Our quivers are full with children, we are not ashamed of the enemy. We are not afraid of what the wicked will do unto us. This day we say, we say the praise for what you have done for us. In Jesus' mighty and precious name, we have prayed. Glory, hallelujah, amen. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We praise God <coughs> for his faithfulness to us. <coughs> for his wondrous work in our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. I cut short my prayer to drink water. I continue. Glory. Hallelujah. We praise him to the eye calling of God in Christ Jesus for us and our nations and our families and nations in the name of Jesus. At this time we are lifting up to God the body of Christ. We are blessing God for everyone God has placed in position of spiritual leadership over us. We are thanking God for your lives. We are thanking God for his faithfulness to us then. We are thanking God that they are standing in a rightful position and they speak as the oracles of God. We are blessing God that these are not men and women that compromise with the world, but those who seek God in the things they do. Father, we thank you for their ministries. We bless you for the entire congregation. We thank you that your children are standing in their rightful positions and doing great works for you. We thank you for, for your spirit overturning every plan of the enemy and revealing, revealing to us the things we need to know about your kingdom. May your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. May your will be done in our lives here on earth as it is in heaven. May we seek you in all that we do. May we give you pleasure in the name of Jesus. May your love, Father Lord, dwell amongst us. May we truly be channels of your peace. When we are gathered, may we gather in your name in the name of Jesus. All that have come amongst us that have not come in your name, we pull them down by your mighty power. We disgrace them. We overturn their evil works in our midst, Lord God. Every seed that you did not sow, we are overturning them by your mighty power in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, anoint the hands of our leaders, of our elders, to heal, to break chains, to deliver, to cast out demons, to encourage in the name of Jesus Christ, to baptize in your name, in the name of your Son, in the name of your Holy Spirit. Anoint the feet of our leaders and every member of our congregations, O oh Lord God, to walk on the path you have made for us. That the word will always be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our paths in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. A light in our eyes to see clearly. That we may rightly design the body of Christ. That we have various parts for different bodies. That we need one another to survive and to do well in ministry work. We pray, Jehovah God, enlighten us to understand. Let our intelligence increase. That we understand, Jehovah God. That it's when we are united that you bestow the blessing upon your children, upon the body of Christ. Amen. We thank you for the unity of your Holy Spirit. Spirit of the living God, have your way in our lives. Come in, dwell amongst us, help us, overturn every work of darkness. Let the will of God be done in our ways, in our, in, in, in our midst. Frustrate those that are gathered with us, but have not come in the name of our God. Expose the activities of false prophets and teachers. And those working with the kingdom of darkness. Any strange altar erected within the body of Christ, our local assemblies, anyone that will come there to attack the children of God through sicknesses and diseases, various kinds of afflictions, Father Lord, arise this day, let them be brought down by your mighty power. Deliver your children. Every evil temple on which our pictures have been placed, our names have been called, and things have been done against us, Father Lord, arise this day, let fire descend upon those temples. Let those pictures be taken away from those temples. Let those who took their names there, let the hands of God come against them. Let the priests building those temples be brought down by the mighty power of God. Father, deliver your children in the name of Jesus Christ. We rebuke the spirit of sickness and diseases in our local assemblies, in our families, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you have sent forth your word to heal us. We are well in the name of Jesus. We have been healed 
By the stripes of Jesus Christ, we are healed. Glory, hallelujah, amen. We bless you, our Father. We thank you for those that have gone forth into the mission field. We bless you for their lives. We thank you that you have gone with them. We bless you for your abiding presence in all they do in the nations. We thank you for signs, miracles, and wonders. We thank you that your word is a lamp unto their feet and a light unto their paths. We thank you that you are leading them to those doors they must knock on. We bless for the souls they are bringing into the kingdom. We thank you that they are not afraid of what the forces of darkness do unto them. That they are going out, they are mighty in your hands to do great works for you. Thank you, God, for their lives. Thank you for their ministry. Thank you for their families. Thank you for what you do to remain. Thank you, Jehovah God, that you have overturned captivities, that all gathered against them and be brought down by your mighty power. That that ancient door made of brass and iron is coming down even right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Souls are coming down. Oh, chains are being broken by your mighty power. Souls are coming in the multitude into your kingdom as you said it to be in Jesus' mighty name. We bless you for foot soldiers within the local assemblies, prison ministry, hospital ministry, hospitality team, food pantry, all the various outreaches. We thank, just thank you that your children are in their rightful position and doing great works for you. Continue to bless them, continue to enlighten them, continue to use them to do great works. Protect them and their families from the forces of darkness that have lifted up their hands against them. Father, let your children stand and trample upon everything that will stand against the kingdom of God. Jehovah God, we bless you, God. We bless you, God. We bless you, God. Our hearts are not sad to love God. We are filled with the spirit of rejoicing as we commit unto your hands, O Lord God. Those mourning the death of loved ones in the name of Jesus Christ, in our families, in our church family, in our nations, touch them. Touch them in the name of Jesus Christ. Reassure them of your presence in that situation that you love them. Give them joy in this time of difficulty. Help them to understand that we do not live forever. That we live according to your will and we die according to your will. Help them, Jehovah God. Rest of peace to them. Let them find comfort and the consolation they need at this time. Let them receive the inner strength of Lord God to continue to live, continue to enjoy life, continue to glorify you and bless you. For their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for their loved ones you have called into eternal rest. Jehovah God, they knew you while they were here. They are rested in the name of Jesus. Thank you for their good service. Thank you for their testimonies. Thank you, God. We are not the most wretched of all things you created. We know that our expectations to, 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 to inherit your kingdom will never be cut short in Jesus' mighty name. That we are your heirs and co heirs of your kingdom with Jesus Christ. Glory, hallelujah, amen. Father, this morning, we are presented to you various situations in our families. You know what we are passing through. You know our struggles. You know, Father, Lord, where we have not done the things you have told us to do. We just present every problem we are passing through, every challenge of life to you this day. Touch us and help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Help us, God. Give us strength to pursue righteousness, to stand and begin to do the work you have called us to do. Restore joy to us in the name of Jesus Christ. For those looking for jobs and better jobs, Father Lord, let the spirit of favor descend upon them. Wherever they go, let your light shine upon their case, cases. Let them receive the help they need in Jesus' mighty name. Father Lord, we pray that our husbands, our sons, and, and brothers will be praised in their homes. That they will take their responsibilities seriously in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that their wives will be fruitful vines in their homes and they work with their husbands, Father God, united in ministry work in Jesus' mighty name as they bring up their children to know you. Jehovah God, we just bless you, God, for our sinner citizens that in old age they are strong for you, testifying about your faithfulness and doing great works for you, gliding their heads, Lord God, with the, anoint their heads with the oil of gladness today. Give their inner strength to pursue righteousness. Let them be a strong support to this generation, and they continue to reveal to us the things you have done in their lives. Let us hear their testimonies, that we, our faith, will continue to increase in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we pray that no one will abuse or neglect them in the name of Jesus Christ. Our Lord God Almighty, who is like unto you. You are God involved in the affairs of men. So at this time, we are lifting up to you again. Our government, everyone, you are placed in position of leadership over us in our nations. We are pulling down, Father Lord, the spirit of corruption. We are coming down every spirit of hatred and racial profiling and spirit of discrimination. In our police force, in our military, in the FBI, 
all the secret services, Jehovah God, in our judiciary, in the Department of Corrections, in the name of Jesus Christ, arise unto your children. Oh God Almighty, let the, those who know you, who have your true love for humanity, who are challenging for peace, oh Lord God, to assume the position of leadership in our nations in the name of Jesus Christ, in the various departments of government. Jehovah God, arise unto your children. Make our community safe for us and our children in the name of Jesus Christ, that the police force will not lift up his hands against our children as they go about our communities. Father, hear our cry for help in Jesus' mighty name. So many children have been killed, Jehovah God. People have not received justice in the mighty name of Jesus. Arise, the Lord God. Oh, Rabbi Havashem, let men know that you are men, that you are God in the affairs of men. In the name of Jesus Christ, as communities have cried over the death of their youth, oh Lord God. As parents have cried, as sun in tears, but our rights, let them come, oh Lord God. With the chiefs, with rejoicing, bringing thanksgiving to you, that your God of all justice has overturned, oh Lord God, the counsel of men. In the name of Jesus, and you establish your will concerning your children in the nations. Our rights, oh Lord God. Let your will be done, let your power, oh Lord God, prevail. Then your children are gathered in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, we come against every fear, we uproot every plan of the enemy, we establish the counsel of God concerning us and our nations in the name of Jesus, concerning our children in our neighborhoods in the name of Jesus Christ, that they will live and life of will not take our children away, they will not die prematurely in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you, God. We thank you for what you look and do in Jesus' mighty name. We are coming against the activities of witches and wizards, Lord God. Oh, sure, the center, the spirit of your Marie, every separate the spirit of Lord God, remember what she every portal of God that is song yeah, we have where, where maybe creatures have been put yeah, people are worshipping those things in the name of Jesus every tree every ocean that is being worshipped by men we bring them to Jehovah God that they have no impact upon this, this this generation in Jesus mighty name that we are your children we know you Jehovah God we serve you we do not make God out of our hands of the things you created we have come to you God who can help us God who hears our cry for mercy God who surrenders us with, with your pr only presence as the magic surrounds Jerusalem you are Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for what peace. We pray for peace in Jerusalem. We pray for peace for all the nations of the world in the name of Jesus Christ. That your children will begin to provide the basic welfare services that your children need in the nations in the name of Jesus. That there will be equity in the distribution of resources in the name of Jesus. That the love of God will be shown to men in the name of Jesus Christ. That everything that is not of you in our nations will be overturned by your mighty power in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you are God. We bless you. We are your people, God, God, by your name. We humble ourselves to you today. Have your way in our midst. Touch the hearts of the President of Nations. Touch the United Nations. Oh, Father Lord. Who can make decisions to influence the course of men, men's lives, you over God. Let them over her shelter. Their hearts are in your hands. Turn their hands wherever you want to turn their hands to. And use them to do great works for you in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, bring to their remembrance that you hold them accountable for the things done in their nations in the name of Jesus Christ. That no man has supreme authority over any other man in this world in the name of Jesus Christ. That we are all men but you are God in our midst in Jesus mighty name. Father Lord as the elections are coming uh, are, 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 are coming forth in the name of Jesus Christ. Father reveal the candidates to us. Reveal them. Reveal them into the, everything we need to know about them. Reveal them. Let there be no deception. Let nothing be hidden. Let your light shine on each one of them. Reveal them to us you are God in the name of Jesus Christ. That we do not elect people out of emotions in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That we will not elect anyone Father Lord that will be a traitor to the, the people of this nation in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone you are God you may have a center that will not work for you. You may have a center that will Oh Father reveal the deep, the deep the secret of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord we lift up the Republican Party to you and the Democratic Party to you, Jehovah God. You know, Father Lord, Rabbi Hashentara. Remember, the people who are holding those true parties in the name of Jesus Christ. You know that belief system in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know the truth concerning each one of them. Let your word begin to push them in the name of Jesus Christ. Let God prevail. Let God prevail. Let God prevail in the matters related to his strength, Jehovah God. Let your light shine in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be helped. Let help be sent to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you as we lift up America before you this day and lift up my country of origin to you, Nigeria. A country that you have blessed so much, Father Lord, with so much resources in the name of Jesus, human power, Father Lord, and mineral resources. Jehovah God, arise, O Lord God, let the spirit of corruption be brought down by your mighty power. Oh, Those, Father Lord, that have 
taking over that country by force of God. Oh, Father, let your children take the country. Give back your children, the country to your children, Jehovah God. Let your will be done in Nigeria. Let the spirit of corruption stop in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you know the nations of the world that are passing through the similar experiences that we are passing through in Nigeria, Jehovah God. Arise, Lord God. Let your will be done in the nations of the world in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your will be done in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, Rabbi, he be sent to the world. Those who have gone for that Lord to the word of your court to receive power, Jehovah God, hold them down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let them not be able to do any evil in the nations of the God. Arise of the God in the name of Jesus Christ. For you are God. Who is like unto you? You are God alone. God in the affairs of your children, God in our lives, highly exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. God who can do great works for us. We bless you. We bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for being our Father in Jesus' mighty name. At this time, Father Lord, we are just committing unto your hands so that I seek, Father Lord, in the hospital, in the nursing home, wherever they are, and those, Father Lord, that are looking up to you for the blessing of the world. Touch your children, Jehovah God. Rebuke the spirit of barrenness in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God Almighty, we pray that the wombs of your daughters will carry pregnancy to full term. We rebuke the spirit of miscarriage and abortion. We come against every attack upon the babies, unborn babies and their mothers in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against the spirit of low spend count. We rebuke you by the power of the living God in the name of Jesus Christ. That the sons of God will be able to impregnate their wives and their wives will carry pregnancy to full term. Nothing that should grow, their babies should be in the womb will be there. Oh, we come against you, fibro, whatever you are called, we come against you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank for babies that have been born into this world dedicated to you. We thank you, God, for rebuking death and child birth. We thank you, Jehovah God, that the spirit is overing around the world as the prophet said it would be evil at this time in Jesus' mighty name. Father Lord, we just thank you. Touch all sick today from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet. Touch every organ in our bodies in the name of Jesus Christ. Rebuke the spirit of cancer, ulcer, high blood and low blood pressure in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Rebuke the flotation in blood sugar level in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Flush out from our bodies excessive fat, excessive water, Anything that should come out, come out. Everything that you die, should die. Everything that you receive life, receive life in the name of Jesus Christ. That dry bones receive life even right now in Jesus' mighty name. Touch our eyes and rebuke, oh Lord God, the spirit of blindness and glaucoma in Jesus' mighty name. Touch our ears and hearing organs in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Rabbi, hush, shed, Rabbi. Let the Son of Righteousness arise unto us this day. For we know your name, we know you, God, in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, touch our mouth, our vocal cords in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our tongue and our feet in Jesus' mighty name. Anoint our mouths to speak as your oracles in the name of Jesus Christ. We rebuke the spirit of cancer in the mouth in Jesus' mighty name. God Almighty, touch our hearts, as trees, and veins in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We come against the spirit of death through stroke and sudden at attack in Jesus' mighty name. Jehovah God, Rabbi Haba, Santa Hobo, touch every organ in our thoracic cavity. Restore back our memories in our heads in Jesus' mighty name, in our minds in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jehovah God, Rebebe, Santa Hobo, Shenda, touch our nose and nostrils that we smell in the name of Jesus Christ the way we should. In Jesus' mighty name, Father Lord, right, Rabbi Hiddison, in the mighty and precious name of Jesus Christ, touch, Father Lord, our livers, our kidneys, our lungs in Jesus' mighty name, touch our reproductive organs in Jesus' mighty name, touch, Father Lord, every uh, organ in, in the large and small intestines in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, touch our hands and fingers and knees, oh Lord God, touch our shoulders and lift up every, every Lord the enemy has thrust on us in Jesus' mighty name, touch our toes, our nose, uh, our toes and feet in Jesus' mighty name, touch our knees. Of Lord God, touch our lower backs in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, touch our spine of Lord God in Jesus' mighty name. I should have played every part of us today. Restore back perfect health to us, shake out from our bodies everything not of you, Jehovah God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let springs of living water overflow from our bellies in Jesus' mighty name. Father, you are God. We bless you, God, for your send forth your word to heal us. We are not worthy that you come into our homes, Lord God. Send forth your word in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you for your word that you have sent forth in the name of Jesus Christ. You are the great spirit. Physician, you're a miracle working God. Thank you for touching the hands of the physicians in the hospitals today, in the nursing and rehabilitation centers, in the, in the doctor's offices, that you are using them to do great work, so that God. You are rebuking the spirit of lack of confidence and fear. You are rebuking every attack of the enemy on their memories and minds in Jesus' mighty name. You are enlightening their eyes to see clearly. You are released upon them the spirit of wisdom, understanding, and intelligence to do the work they need to do, to carry out various medical procedures on your children in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, we bless you in the name of Jesus Christ, that you have anointed your hands to heal. Oh, Rabbi Hamashinda, you are doing great miracles through your sons and daughters in the medical profession in Jesus' mighty name. You have rebuked the kingdom of darkness on their behalf, Lord God. Those gathered 
stand together in, uh, for evil purposes. They have gathered in vain because God, you cannot be found in the congregation of the wicked in Jesus' mighty name. Oh God Almighty, arise unto your children today in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the sick begin to arise from the sick beds, begin to testify about your faithfulness of your wondrous work in their life, this in their lives, Lord God. Let them begin to sing praises to you for what you have done, Jehovah God. That you have restored hope to them in the name of Jesus. You have given them life. That grand boss are receiving life today in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. That every medical procedure that will be done on your children, Father Lord, we walk to you and to your glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Every medicine your children are drinking and drop, being full, drop in the uh, Suck the blood of Jesus Christ, even right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, so that we bless you, God. You are God. There's no God at sea. We thank you for breakthrough, Father Lord, in medical science, experiment of cancer and various diseases attacking your children. We thank you for the research institutes and those working there in the name of Jesus Christ. We lift up the laboratories and technicians to you. We lift up the pharmaceutical companies and pharmacists to you. Jehovah God, we come against all working for the forces of darkness, Jehovah God. Those working for you, continue to bless them and their families in the name of Jesus Christ. Continue to increase them in knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. Continue Continue, Father Lord, to encompass around there and their households in Jesus' mighty name. As they walk for you, man, see, bless them. In the name of Jesus Christ, when they become tired, Father Lord, give them the strength they need to continue. Refresh them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless you. We thank you, God, for who you are. We thank you for the great works you have done in our midst, Lord God. We thank you, God Almighty, as we commit unto your hands those who teach our children, Jehovah God. Father, is there anyone that you have no contact with our children? Expose them, Jehovah God. In the name of Jesus Christ, separate them from our children, Jehovah God. God, frustrated you, over God. Those that work for the Lord for you in excuse for the Lord, bless them as they continue to do great works for the God in the name of Jesus. But I will bless you. You are God, there's no God at sea. Oh, Rabbi Heaven, send that Rabbi Hobo, send that Rabbi Hava. We return all the praise to you for what you have done for us, Lord God. We have not gathered in vain this afternoon. We have come to the God who believes, who, who, who can help us because we have, we believe in you, Father Lord. Oh, God who can release wisdom upon us. God who knows, Father Lord, the thoughts of our hearts, Lord God, the intent of our hearts, Lord God. We cannot hide from you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give you the thanks, we bless you for what you have done for us today. You are God. When we go out by land, by sea, by the water, by, by, by the airways, Father Lord, it, it's safe for us. When we walk around our neighbors, it's safe for us in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you that the air we breath will not kill us, that the food we eat will not kill us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that the water we drink will not kill us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for glorying us in your glory, for tearing every reproach, every shame, every evil garment the enemy has tried to put upon us, your white God. Blessed be your holy name. We are blessed by the names you have called us in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. In your name we have called, called we have gathered together today. We are blessed. Be that exalted in our midst, our God, in Jesus' mighty name. As we go into the study of the word this day, Father Lord, enlighten our eyes to get from our passage what we need to feed on. For man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of your mouth. Spirit of the living world, God, speak to our spirit, souls, and mind. Restore back to us everything that we need to receive in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God. Thank you for what you have done for us. In Jesus' mighty and precious name, we have prayed. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord reigns. Blessed be our God. May the rock of our salvation be exalted. May God be exalted in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to read from Second Corinthians chapter 4. I'll read a couple of verses. Amen. Let the Spirit of God minister to us today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Treasures in jars of clay. Therefore, since through God's mercy we have this ministry, we do not lose heart. Rather, we have renounced secret and shameful, shameful ways. We do not use deception, nor do we distort the word of God. On the contrary, by setting forth the truth plainly, we commend ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. And even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing. The God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. For we do not preach ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord, and ourselves as your servants, for Jesus' sake. For God who said, let light shine out of darkness, made this light shine in our hearts, to give us the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Christ. 
But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be re re revealed in our body. For we who are alive are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake, so that his life may be revealed in our mortal body. So then, death is at work in us, but life is at work in you. It is written, I believed, therefore I have spoken. With that same spirit of faith, we also believe and therefore speak, because we know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus from the dead, we also raise us with Jesus and present us with you in his presence. All this is for you, for your benefits, so that the grace that is reaching more and more people may cause thanksgiving to overflow to the glory of God. Therefore, we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day for our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an internal glory that are far that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporal. But what is unseen is eternal. Glory, hallelujah, amen. That's where faith can sin. Believing in the power in the word of God. Believing in the promises of God for us. When we have faith to walk with God, we see beyond our circumstances. We understand that the life we live today is the life of Jesus Christ. The apostle said that they, himself and all the the people we are with him, we are serving with him, that they were carrying, they carried in their mortal bodies the mark of the death of Jesus Christ. Amen. So they knew that the life they were living was for Jesus Christ, that they were living like people who were dead, so that the people they were serving will receive life, so that they will be empowered to trust God and to continue to do good works. When they see the, labor, the, the laboring of the apostles for, for, the, for their sakes, for them. The apostles saw themselves as servants for Jesus Christ and for the people. They had the true love of God in their hearts. They did not see themselves as leaders, people who are above them. They accepted their very humble status. Where Jesus Christ had placed them, they accepted it. They were there to serve. You are there to show the people what it meant to have the love of God in them, inside of their hearts for humanity. Because they were raising up a leader, a group of leaders for the work of the gospel. How else can you raise up, teach people to know Christ, to have that humble spirit of Christ, if you cannot live that kind of life? People have to see you serving by example, doing the things that God wants you to wants the, the body to do for you to be able to raise up leaders to say this is the way it is done. Jesus Christ lived by example. So anyone that is in any of the fivefold ministry know that we are actually servants of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and servants of humanity. Amen. We serve people with the true love of God, demonstrating the love of God to the people around us. That's the only way we can Help people, encourage them to grow in the things of God. And that's the only way we can grow and attain into spiritual maturity. We do not give up. We do not press. We do not run away when opposition comes. It's that we stand, understanding what God has called us to do in this world. We press on the high calling of God for us in Christ Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen.
Every day we are being refined. Every day we are growing the things of God. Every day we are being filled with the knowledge of God. Every day our our faith is increasing. Amen. As we work for God in the name of Jesus. That since God has entrusted this ministry of reconciliation to us, there are certain things that must take place in our lives. Amen. We cannot say we have the truth in us, that we are children of God, and we are still living as the old man, still doing those things from which God has delivered us. If we are still living like the old man or woman, we cannot bring any soul into the kingdom of God. We must renounce every chain. Amen? With every secret, every deception, and we hold on to the truth. Amen? We commend ourselves to the consciences of men before God through the good works they see us doing. Through the transparency of our lives before them. Through the honesty and love that we have as we serve them. That's the way we commend ourselves to the consciousness of men that can bring men down to the state of repentance. If men do not see the fruit of righteousness in us, if they do not see a change from the old man and what they knew about us, there's no way we can touch them. We can impact them with anything about the kingdom of God. There's no way we can bring effect any changes in our communities. The people around us must see the change that's taking place in our lives. Amen. They have eyes to observe. Amen. They must see those changes for us to be able to impact them with the things of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The apostle said, therefore, that since through God's mercy we have this ministry, we have we, we do not lose heart. Rather, we have renounced secret and shameful ways. We do not use deception. We deceive ourselves for no man. Where we decide, to, where we use corny, crafty ways and deception. We only deceive ourselves. Amen. The word of God is transparent. It revives the soul. It's supposed to be something open that everybody can see. You cannot hide spiritual things. They speak of their own accord. They speak out like wisdom, crying out. That's why someone can walk into this room right now without saying anything and people will, will still feel something. We receive a message from the person. Beginning from the look, the movement and everything. Because spiritual things speak of their own accord. No man can deceive anyone. We deceive ourselves. Amen. We deceive ourselves. When we say we are the children of God and we know that we are so far from the presence of God, we have no business, we have we have no relationship with God. When we say we are the children of God and we truly do not have the love of God for humanity, we deceive ourselves. We must go back to love. We read that three things of all the spiritual gifts that God has given to us. That is speaking of tongues, the word in prophecy and interpretation of interpretation of prophecies. Visions, they all pass away. That even right now, everything we do, we see in parts. Not in full. But one time, a time we come, when everything we see, we be so it plainly clear. The way we understand, that's the way we will be known. That's the way the Spirit of the Living God will know and expose us and know everything about us. That all, all those gifts will pass. Pass away. That three things will, will, will last. For a while. Two of them will last for a while. Hope and faith. Faith and hope. But love. We live forever. We remain forever. We reign forever. Is that love that will give us an interest into God's kingdom? Let us start to live in love. Let us try begin to learn how to truly love God's children. All of God's children. It does not matter their races, their religion. It does not matter what they say about themselves. Love all of God's children. That's our calling as the children of God. Love all of God's children. God has not made us a judge of anyone. When it comes to judgment, it's a different thing all entirely. It belongs to God. We do not have any authority to judge. But God said, love. We, do not, we may not like what, so, what somebody is doing. That does not mean we should not love the person. We may not agree with someone's viewpoint. Or how they decide to live their lives. 
what God did not make us the judge of anyone. That does not mean we do not love them. Love all of God's children. And when we truly love of all of God's children, there will be equity in the distribution of resources. What should go to any group in our communities should go to all, irrespective of how they decide to live their life, what kind of people they decide to be. It's in the hands of God. God is the only one and true judge. All we can do is to pray that God should touch them. When we see that they are living contrary to the will of God, pray. Pray. The, the house of God is called the house of prayer. That the spirit of prayer descend upon us. There are a lot of situations we are passing through in our personal lives, in our communities, wherever we are, that we is at the altar of prayer that those strongholds will pull down. God has already released that spirit on us. The spirit of God is upon us. So if we are truly servants of God, that have the true love of God for humanity, we must pray that the house of God will return back to, to, to the house of prayer. That the spirit of Elijah will be upon us. That we pray in and out of season. Praying for our nations, praying for our families, praying for the body of Christ, lifting up our children, our institutions to God. Everything that relates to humanity, lift them up to God. God wants us to be intercessors. It's not just about ourselves. I need one this and one this and one. We have to get to a place of spiritual maturity where we know that the lives that we are living, that we are living the life of Jesus Christ who died for us. That on our mortal bodies we carry the marks of Jesus Christ on our mortal bodies. Amen. So that the people around us can have life. Amen. Amen. Let's not do anything that will bring a reproach upon the body of Christ. We said that, as we have read today, that we have, we have, we have renounced every shame, every reproach, every secret. Amen. So if we have done that, let us be honest in our dealings with our brothers and sisters. Let us show the true love of God to our brothers and sisters. Let us be considerate of one another. One that is considerate, considerate of his brother or sister is not always number one. You don't always want to be the first person. You want to serve. You want to help. You want to see how you can resolve situations. Amen. We know we are dealing with real people in this world. That even when you want to serve, at times people come against you. They accuse you and they say things. And we become sorrowful. We become discouraged. Yes, in flesh and blood, it happens. I have been there so many times. So many times. Where people have come against me. Accuse me. Where they have said things. Where they have gathered. But I bless God. For the spirit of God that has given me strength through all the situations. That at the end, I just think about the people I love. Amen. I just laugh. Because we know we have a God that does not fail. We have a God that has spoken his promises concerning us that the, our enemies do not prevail against us. I just laugh and I tell you, I feel sorry for them because I know that everything they have done against me we go back to them. I know you feel the same way because you know your God. Because you are honest in your dealings with men. Because you have shown the true love of God to your brothers and sisters. Even on your job, you have done everything good. And yet they came against you. They held by that, that, that promotion that should come to you. brother. My brother and my sister, just laugh. As painful as, as it may be, do not allow them to see that sorrow on your face. Amen. Take care of yourself. Laugh and give it to God. But when you get into your bedroom or wherever pray pray concerning that situation and lift it to god pray concerning that situation and lift it to god our god will never fail us in the name of jesus christ it teaches us how to do spiritual warfare what is the situation wherever the attack is coming from wherever people have gathered let it be in our communities anywhere they will not prevail against the body of christ because we have renounced every secret we have renounced every shame we have renounced every reproach we are holding on to the truth. The truth will never fail us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It will not fail us. So wherever we go, continue to serve. Continue to be the child of God that God has created you to be. Continue to be a good example. Show true leadership example in the things you do. If it means doing it yourself for the people around you to understand, do it. That's what the leader does. Do it. Do it joyfully. Everyone you are serving may not even like you. But do it for God. Do it for humanity. There's a reward for everything we do in this world. Believe God. He has spoken concerning us and it will be as he said it will be. I believe it. 
because her head is sweats clearly that when God has finished what he want, finished doing what he wants to do in our lives, that people will ask, how did it happen? But they will know that it's by the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ. This brings us to the end of our session this morning. We just bless God. We thank him for every word that we have fed on. Verse 13 of First Corinthians chapter 4 states, It is written, I believed, therefore I have spoken. Amen. With that same spirit of faith, we also believe and therefore speak. Because you know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus from the dead, we also raise us with Jesus and present us with you in his presence. Amen. So whatever comes out from our mouth, we speak as the oracle of God because we believe. So we have spoken according to the word of God in us, the truth that we know. And to come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our ears are listening to wisdom from above. The spirit of the living God is directing the course of our lives. The courses of our lives. And everything will be according to, the, to what God says it will be. Because we believe, we hold on to that truth. Because we believe, we proclaim that truth. Because we believe, we live that life that we proclaim in the name of Jesus Christ. We do not deceive ourselves. So today... What do we believe in? We cannot serve two masters. We cannot serve God and hold on to money. Amen. We cannot pursue two masters. We serve one and we neglect the other. God does not want us to serve him with any other God. Or put any other thing in, in his place. So today we surrender to God. We serve God with our spirit. With with with. With the truth in us and everything, we serve God. The mind, souls, and spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. We reject every other God, every other idol, any other thing that we stand in the way of God in our lives, in our families, in our nations, in the body of Christ, in the lives of our children, in our institutions today, in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we are seeking you first and your righteousness so that every other thing will be added unto us. We bless you. For your, word, for your word that you've spoken to us this day. Thank you, God. In Jesus' mighty and precious name, we have prayed. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord reigns. Blessed be our God. May the rock of our salvation be exalted. May God be exalted in our lives today. In Jesus' mighty and precious name. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. You are blessed. God loves you. We love you too. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen.